Easy back pain stretches for beginners. Hi, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to give a rundown on why you would want to stretch, especially if you work in an office. It's not part of the culture usually in, in most companies. They may have exercise rooms, they may have ways of, of doing weight training and so on. But why stretch? Here's the reason to stretch. The reason to stretch is look at the position we're in and you spend a lot of that time thinking about what's going into the computer, manipulating the keys so that while you're thinking about what's going into the computer goes into the computer. Some people have jobs where they're doing data input, they're doing all kinds of different things with the computer. Their body ends up being in the position that I'm in right now and as you get tired, literally what starts to happen is you start doing this. So the idea is to be able to sit more erect while you're sitting at your computer. The mechanics that are involved are that you have to move, try to figure out you can do a digital form of a timer on your computer where every hour it dings or does something. Then get up, walk around your desk once and sit back down again. Or walk out of the office and come back into the office. Do something different. The reason you have to get out of this position is because your energy is stagnating. Did I just say that? Your energy is stagnating? Your blood is also stagnating. The blood is not making it to the hamstrings. Guess what you're sitting on? You're sitting on the main muscles that literally hold you up and they're not getting good circulation. Even though the arteries and the veins are in the right place, they're on the front here. They do get circulation, but they don't on the places you're sitting, that's all compressed. And when it's compressed, it doesn't get as good a blood, blood flow as, as it, it might otherwise. So what happens is, those muscles, they aren't as strong as they used to be because half of them are cut off and they're not getting circulation. That's why you start getting sucked into the computer. That's why you start bending over and doing this kind of stuff. So the mechanics of stretching are very important to counteract that and to strengthen what's happening in your lower back, to support it in your hips, and to make it so that it's easier for you to get up and move. Point of all of this is that it increases circulation, it increases fluid flow. If you have a bottle of water with you, drink water. It gives you, it makes, it gives you a good excuse after a couple of hours, you can take a, a restroom break. Drink your water. It helps thin your blood a little bit so that, that the circulation will actually help more. And then the mechanics of stretching that I teach is a two-second isolated stretch. So I'm going to show you an example in a hamstring stretch. All I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a hamstring stretch from a sitting position. And all you do is you take your legs, stick it straight out, and you pull it up, one and two, and you put it back. What that has just done, it has relieved some of the tension on your hip from your sitting that has gotten to bring you out of place. All you're doing is you're stretching your hamstring, this hamstring support the hip. What happens then is all of a sudden it sets itself a little bit more carefully, and all of a sudden it's much easier for you to sit erect. And then when you start getting tired after an hour of inputting, then you just go ahead and do it again. From this position, I've discovered you can do a hamstring stretch and you can do a quad stretch. Look at You can do a quad stretch. So what you do is you stay erect, you go like this, and you go one and two. That's stretching the quads. This is stretching the hamstrings. The two most important muscles for standing and for sitting, sitting erect. You do those stretches, it energizes you and it makes it so that it's easier for you to get up at the end of the day or after a four hour period or whatever the case may be. And even when you're at a conference table, underneath the conference table, maybe sneak in a quad stretch. What do you think? Huh? Yeah, maybe you can't. But anyway, there's the idea. The mechanics are such that you have to counteract the stationary position that you are in. And you can do that by running, you can do that by exercise, you can do that by the gym. My point is, you can re-energize your muscles while you're sitting at your desk or somewhere close to your desk in your, in your cubicle. I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you've seen and would like to learn more. Be sure to check out my website at stretchawayloverbackpain.com. There is a link below this video. Any questions about what you've seen or a topic you want me to cover, please comment below this video. Ask a question, share how it's going, 
what stretch did you like? Or is there anything else? I will be monitoring what's there and I will be using that in my future videos. <laughs>